Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Upbeat and I hope you are doing very well. In today's video, we are going to see how to grow balsam from seeds. You would see everything with updates and so let's get started. Before starting, I would like to show you one very interesting thing. The seeds of balsam germinate inside the seed pod itself in case we are late to collect the seeds. Here you can see the same thing. This is really interesting, isn't it? Anyway, please let me know what you think. So I collected the seeds and it's time to sow them. I am using a seedling tray and for potting mix, taking 80% cocoa peat and rest 20% vermicompost. Instead of seedling tray, we can use any other pot where depth is minimum 2 inches. Best thing about balsam is that they can be grown both in winter and in summer. But it's not a perennial plant and they usually die after flowering. For summer, February, March is the best time to sow the seeds and for winter, we can start from September onwards. Sow the seeds and honestly saying I was not expecting that Egon is going to have such patience. He is really very naughty. Anyway, after sowing the seeds, please don't cover them. Balsam seeds need light to germinate. Next, spraying water. After that, we can keep the seedling tray either in bright light or morning sunlight for 3 to 4 hours would be fine. As expected, Egon damaged entire tray just after sowing the seeds and I also lost all the seeds. Luckily, I just have one seedling in another tray here. So let's transplant it today. To transplant, going to use a 6 inch wider and 6 inch deeper pot. It's more than enough for a single plant. For potting soil mix, doing basic way and I am taking 50% normal garden soil, 25% cocoa peat and rest 25% vermicompost. My soil is sandy type and in case it is not same with you, please use sand instead of cocoa peat. Next, I would keep the pot under indirect sunlight for next two to three days and then I would move to the terrace. Let's take a look at the updates. What you have drawn on your face, Missy? Hi, my vampire. Vampire have really smelly teeth and bloody teeth and very white teeth. Look at me. I'm a vampire. I'm a girl vampire. I'm a vampire. I'm a girl, not a boy. All right. So you have seen the complete updates and. As you can see, plant did quite well. Let's talk about how to care for balsam. For sunlight, more is always better for flowering. Please note that balsam can be also grown under indirect sunlight, but flowers should be less. Having said that, in extreme hot weather, it won't be a good idea to keep under full sun for the whole day. In that case, morning sunlight for 3 to 4 hours would be fine. For water, please try to keep the soil consistently moist. In summer, we would need to water them daily, but in winter, we can let the top soil slightly dry out before watering. After heavy flowering, they usually produce lots of seed pods and stop flowering. To get the flowers again, remove all the seed pods and then fertilize once. I use only two components. First one is 10 grams bone meal and second one is 5 grams mustard cake powder. As you can see here, the plant bloomed heavily once again after fertilizing. Though I got fungus attack on the leaves. 
did not do anything as it was end of the season. But in case you need to do something, you can use soft fungicide and doses 2 grams in 1 liter water. There is also no need to apply fertilizers too frequently. Applying just once or twice is going to be fine and we can do that once in 30 days. I believe that's a happy ending. Please wait for a few seconds and do check out my next video about the plants that we can grow in February. This is also best time to grow them. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening upbeat. Thank you so much for watching, really appreciate it, take care and enjoy.